Hi, this is Dave again with uh, some uh, home DIY stuff. Here I have a Samsung uh, top load washer. Uh, show the model number here, son. Uh, the model number, uh, I won't read it out. You can see that, okay? And show them the front of the washer, the type of washer we got. So it's a washer, uh, Samsung VRT Plus. The issue here is it's having a lot of gunk and uh, residue build up. I think it's just a bunch of lint trapped inside the tub area. So we're going to open it up and find out and clean it up. All right. First step is to remove a lot of these screws. Now I'm going off of memory. This is the second time I'm going to do this. So I might need some more tools. We'll figure that out along the way. So I just have here, here the handy dandy boss lithium. Uh, going to remove the screws here. And we'll come along with me here. So we got one, two, three, so far all the screws are the same size so we're not worried about where it goes, what goes into what hole later. So I said it's the second time I'm cleaning this so it's been about 18 months since I last cleaned it out when we first had a lot of that residue issue so I'm hoping uh, it should be a simple fix we, we've tried in the past just to clean it out with some detergents but an empty wash with a full full load of water with uh, with nothing else but just water spinning in there we pulled the cover off we're good there <sighs> then from behind we have two more screws holding the top of this lid off pull that out again it's about the same size screw so we're not concerned about what goes to where All right. so you see that comes out and that will reveal two more screws a few more see if I remember this right so I don't think I actually removed this part but there you go see that I unplug this and I don't think I took that off last time but I do need to get this off So you can see the lid goes all the way across here. So we got to remove these two other screws back here. Again, same size screws. Actually, these are quite different screws. So we got to make sure we put this back in the proper place. So separate that from the rest. All right. There you go. Now we got the lid off. So I may have not uh, needed to take off the back part. So hey, mistakes along the way. Again, this is my, I'm trying to go off of memory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock back this part down. I now know that I don't, didn't need to take it off. For some reason, I thought I remember taking it off in the past. Cool thing about a wrench like this, it offers different brands of torque, so you can adjust uh, how tight oh, are the torque. You gonna clean it? Right. So now that we got that thing loose, lift it up. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? disconnected the power how did I take this off double check something here because I do remember taking it off completely we'll see okay I think this whole thing has to come off the reason I'm going back further here is I think this power cord is removable that way I can remove the entire top here.
Nope, it's not removable. Oh well, another mistake made. Okay. Loosen these out of the uh, grommets here that hold it in place. Now I think I remember what I did here. set aside now we can get to the tub so the tub Mom, bring that flashlight down here. <sighs> All right, tub removal. Yeah, there's a few more screws in here. Careful not to drop the screws in like I did one, but it's all right. Four, four screws out. this lid there's actually some snap locks you come on and see this right here some snap locks so it goes all the way around if you can barely see this you just gotta pull it up and release I think there's gonna be four of them see the tub that's it so from here is there a flat screw driver in there now we gotta take out this agitator this one. take out this agitator 
pull out this little cap here. All right, now you got a single bolt there. So I guess I gotta run and grab some, looks like a half inch. So I'll be right back. Don't, don't pause it, we don't have a plug here. out a half inch where is it at uh, let's see here nope. it's a 10 millimeter all right so I got a 10 millimeter socket undo this it's not very tight so the main reason this is tight is because I believe it's against plastic. So you don't want to over tighten this for sure. Alrighty. Alright. Pull that out. And then the agitator should come right up. So lift up here. Took that out. Huh. Actually, not a lot of air to the drum. Alright, pause the video. How are you going? Just end it. <laughs> 